Hi there. Thanks for joining CPG Bytes, a series of short video segments from Treasure Data, where we chat about the latest news and industry trends and read between the lines to provide our perspective and insights. So David, my friend, what do you have for us this week? Well, I guess I could title today's uh, uh, little discussion, Gravity, you know, what goes up must come down. So there was this article uh, earlier this week about um, essentially the, the digitally native kind of direct to consumer brands, just, you can see in the title here, the, you know, slamming into reality, right? So companies like Allbirds and a whole bunch of them, Warby Parker, they're all really, really getting hit hard in the in the stock market. And you know, I think in this article, there's almost this uh, sort of notion that you know, direct to consumer, bad idea, the craze is over, the bubbles burst. And I think that uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. I think what we're really seeing here is that this isn't about throwing the baby out with the bathwater of direct to consumer. It's really the fact that a lot of these digitally native um, companies, direct to consumer companies, are getting hard hitting, get hitting, getting hit hard on some of the parameters of the business model, right? So you see there in the title about cheap Facebook ad space, their business predicated on that. Those rates have all gone up. You know, low cost shipping is no more with the you know price of diesel fuel and shipping containers from from China have gone up. You know, sometimes tenfold. Um, I think something else that's mentioned here is later in the article is just you know, with, with cookies going away and privacy laws going up, it's it's harder to get access to the, the consumer data. So I feel like these companies were maybe founded on um, parameters that, you know, they weren't expecting to change, right? So I think that's what's really, really hurting them. And so rather than throwing the baby out with the bathwater, what I think is fascinating here is that, you know, these companies were having to spend money and use advertising to build brand awareness, right? To get those consumers. And a lot of the established CPG brands that have always been viewed as sort of dinosaurs and legacy and old, Ooh. those kind of that legacy, if you will, that was once considered a weakness is actually a strength, right? Because they're well-established brands. There already is strong brand awareness. And so, you know, when I read this article, I don't look at this as being direct as consumer is over. I look at this as being, you know, the pendulum has swung in the favor of more of the traditional CPG companies. And it's really a time now for those companies to, you know, push harder, right? Pedal to the metal, take advantage of some of the challenges that their upstart competition uh, are having and leverage their strength and their brand equity and their brand awareness to really capture the hearts and minds and souls of, of consumers and, and, and take advantage of this could be a, a huge opportunity for them. Agreed, agreed. And, and you think about, you know, when you talk about the, the brand, right, and, and the brand awareness, I just think about kind of the brand value. Though we use the word value because there's some equity in it. And there is brand equity in, in all these uh, all these, uh, I will say, traditional CPG companies, you know, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, um, you know, uh, these are all fantastic brands that you, when you see them, you, you recognize them and not, it, it, they definitely have built up the awareness that the brand itself has a value and that value can be leveraged in person, online, virtually, uh, direct to consumers or through a store. Whereas, you know, the, the more digital natives, they are, they are starting to catch up on that in terms of, hey, I don't quite have the same brand value yet, but what we have is a virtual presence. So, so I, I kind of see a, a happy marriage between the two, mm -hmm. if you can, to say, how do these, uh, how, how do you leverage your, your brand? How do you leverage that, that name that you have built in all channels, right? Omnichannel, in, in not just in traditional uh, brick and mortar type of settings, but how do you also leverage that online and for the digital companies, yes, you have a you have a virtual presence, but how are you now able to use the first party data that you have captured and and really expand beyond that? And how do you make the best use of it? We well, bring up a really interesting point that uh, I just wanted to piggyback on it's that omni-channel perspective. Of this right is that the digital native ones, you know, they kind of had cornered the market maybe on direct to consumer, but as we're now reopening after COVID and people are getting back into stores and in some cases malls, et cetera, you almost need to have that, that omni-channel presence, right? And be able to engage consumers at the moment and wherever they are. And so 
the more traditional CPG companies actually have that going for them. So again, it's, it's, I think a really great opportunity for traditional CPG companies pedal to the metal on DTC and, and take advantage of this disruption that's taking place, kind of reverse disruption, maybe a way of looking at it. No, totally, totally agree. And so thank you, David, for, for that insight today. And thank you for joining us. Uh, as mentioned before in a previous CPG episode, uh, we have made a valuable tool available to you, to our loyal CPG Bytes viewers. The DTC readiness guide is ready for you to download for free. Whether you're just starting out on the direct consumer path or are just thinking about the DTC, this tool will help, uh, this tool will be helpful to you to guide you through the journey. So go to the description below, find the link for the DTC readiness guide, and you can download the entire worksheet to work on with your team and see how you compare it to your peers in the same industry. So make sure you, you visit that page and download the tool for you after watching the video. And for more videos like this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on all uh, the bell for all notifications. And we will be back in two weeks with more topics for CPG Bytes. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.